GOP states threatened to sue Biden administration over sweeping vaccine mandates, and West Virginia plans to funnel money to nursing homes and hospitals that need help addressing staffing crisis. This and more next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, September 22nd, 2021. Happy first day of fall. To stay in the know of Long Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you are a CNA, consider becoming a NACA member for only $30 a year. You can enroll quickly on our website at NACACNA.org. Join today and stand up for what you deserve. President Joe Biden's expanded COVID vaccine mandate for healthcare staff and many private sector employees could be challenged in court by a group of top state law officials. Two dozen Republican attorneys general in a letter to Biden argued that the president's proposed coronavirus vaccine requirement for as many as 100 million Americans would, quote, drive individuals out of the workforce, including health care workers, at a time when the labor market is already too tight. They also argued Biden's plan to enforce the mandate through the rarely used emergency temporary standard provision of the Occupational Health and Safety Act. The lawmakers added that to justify its use, it must be determined that employees are exposed to grave danger and that the order is necessary to protect employees from that grave danger. The group urged Biden to reconsider the, quote, unlawful and harmful plan to allow people to make their own decisions. Continued, quote, if your administration does not alter its course, we will seek every available legal option to hold you accountable and uphold the rule of law, the attorneys general wrote on Thursday. New York's vaccine mandate was successfully beaten by health care staff after the state's Supreme Court issued a temporary straining order blocking the rule for its lack of a religious exemption. Providers have expressed support for Biden's mandate after he expanded it to include all of healthcare staff instead of targeting just nursing home employees. West Virginia nursing homes that have had to shell out more money due to hiring extra staff during the COVID-19 pandemic will be reimbursed under a new program just unveiled by the state. Republican Governor Jim Justice on Monday announced the Saving Our Care initiative aimed at ensuring nursing homes and hospitals remain stable amid a surge of Delta COVID-19 cases. Providers through the program will be repaid for qualified COVID-related expenses, including for efforts to increase workforce levels at nursing homes and assisted living facilities. The program will also provide staffing assistance and establish a 24-7 monitoring and communication system for all hospitals and long-term care facilities in the state. Officials plan to release additional details about qualifying reimbursements and programs in the near future. Quote, we've got the dollars available, Justice said in a statement, and if we get to the point where we've exhausted those dollars, we'll surely call the legislator back in and get approval to do even more. West Virginia has been praised for its nursing home response during the public health crisis. The state was among the first to complete COVID-19 vaccine clinics among long-term care facilities after successfully utilizing independent retail pharmacies and opting out of the federal program. It was also one of the first states that pledged to continuously test nursing home residents and staff for COVID-19 during early pandemic months. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week and I'll see you on Wednesday.